Do you ever find yourself writing verbose SQL queries and wish that it had been designed differently? You're not alone. In this video, we're going to explore five ways that DuckDB makes SQL better. We'll be diving into a database loaded with data about tennis players, their rankings, and then a view that ties it all together. So without further ado, let's start with feature number five. So usually when you start exploring a data set, you'll write a quick select star from a query and it all kind of works fine. You can see we've got a bunch of rankings here, but the select always feels kind of superfluous. And with DuckDB, you can go straight to the from, no select required. And so for saving us all from having to type select star for every single query, I'd say this is probably about a six out of 10 improvement. Let's have a look at number four. I don't know about you, but when I'm writing queries, I think about the tables and any joins. And then after that, I think about which fields to return. And DuckDB makes that possible by letting you write your select clause after the from. As I really like this feature because it fits much better with the sort of top down way that I think about queries. So I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Let's have a look at number three. So the player rankings view has so many columns that it gets truncated when we use a column mode. So you can see here, we're gonna put it in line mode and you can see there are a bunch of uh, columns. Now let's say that we want to exclude some columns. So say we don't want player points, wiki data ID, height and player ID. So with normal SQL, we'd have to instead think in our head, okay, what's the opposite of that? Like which fields do we want to keep? So that's ranking date, rank, name first, name last, hand, DOB and IOC. What DuckDB does is it introduces this select star exclude clause, uh, which works really well. So instead of naming which ones we do want, we can say, I don't want player points, height, player ID, and wiki data ID. This feature works really well if you just have a couple of really annoying columns that contain a lot of data that you don't want clogging up your table of results. So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. That leads us on to number two. What if we wanted to fix the ranking date and date of birth so that their actual dates rather than strings, but still return all the other fields. So if we were doing normal SQL, we'd have to kind of write out all the fields. We put in our cast for the ranking date, then we'd list like all the fields in, in the middle, and then we'd do the cast on the date of birth. And then finally we return the IOC. And, the, and it all works quite fine, but it's sort of a bit messy. With the replace function, what we can do is we'll use the exclude to get rid of those other fields, and then we're gonna replace, and we can just name the fields that we wanna replace uh, and leave the ex others exactly as they were before. Now this feature, I find it super cool, because often you just wanna do a quick fix to fix one or two columns in, and you end up having to write out everything, and it gets so messy. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. And finally, number one. So a pet peeve of mine. So imagine we're trying to write a query to find the player who's been number one for the most weeks. So we have to put in like, so we have to then name all the non-aggregate fields. So in this case, it's name first, name last, and IOC. And then we get back our results and it's all fine. This, this data is a little bit old, so don't worry about the actual numbers. And I nearly always forget one of the group by columns and then I get an error or I get a result that's kind of weird. And what, DuckDB does is it says, actually what we can do is we can just say group by all, and I'm gonna group by all the other non-aggregate fields, which is perfect. And I got really used to writing aggregate queries without even a group by statement at all when using Neo4j's Cypher query language. And it's such a pain to have to write them all out in SQL. So thank you DuckDB for simplifying my life with this one. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. And these are just some of the innovations that make DuckDB such a pleasure to work with. Another personal favorite of mine is the pivot function, which makes it super easy to reshape your data. So if you wanna learn about that, then check out this video uh, up here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.